Hi Taurus, welcome to your love reading for the first half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, uh, social media links, tons of information there. So please do go check that out, would be greatly appreciated. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you so much. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much for trusting me to read for you. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. Thank you for your support. Really, really means a lot to me to help this channel grow and flourish. I couldn't do it without you guys, and I truly love to do it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So, for Taurus, the first half of September, love connection reading. Now, this can be for any type of connection you're in, any type of connection with anybody you have in mind right now. So, any kind of connection, love connection, in any kind of situation with whomever you have in mind. So, I hope everybody's doing well. Almost at the end of summer, if you can believe that already. So what do we have for Taurus? This is a Zodiac Oracle. So if this part doesn't resonate for you, that is totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. So we'll see what we get here for you, Taurus. Let's see, what do we have for Taurus? Aries. Oh, interesting. So some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries. If not, that's totally fine. Or maybe uh, the person you're connecting with has Aries heavily in their chart in some way could be their rising sign or they could just have it heavily heavily in their chart some people have another sign more heavily in their chart than just their sun sign so all right so you're uh, to bleh, so I was gonna say Aries Taurus love the connection spirit please the first half of September all right, so the first thing I will do is I will get an overall sort of like love energy for you. What is the love energy like for Taurus in this connection for the first half of September spirit, please? And we have one card, the Taurus's love connection energy. What is the overall energy like for Taurus and their person? The first half of September spirit, please. Thank you so much. Can we have one card? There we go. Angel of Strength. So this is Leo energy, but it doesn't have to be. So this is being, you know, and we have 55, which is about change. So this is, you know, you could be uh, strengthening, strengthening the bonds between you and your person, maybe making some changes, knowing there's a change that needs to be made in your connection. Could be a very strong connection with the Angel of Strength here. And this also can speak of being, you know, strong, courageous, and brave, having determination and willpower, um, and also like taming the beast, having that confidence within also to keep, you know, withdrawn when you have to, to move forward when you know you need to. Um, so I feel like, or you could just needing, needing to be strong and brave during this time if there's something going on right now um i think this is telling you to remain positive to, and to remain very vigilant and confident for some reason taurus all right so let's get taurus an overall energy for you so how is taurus feeling right now in this connection towards this person how is Taurus feeling? Oh, we got strategy. Hmm. 21, which is three. And three is about coming together, rejoicing, celebrating teamwork, collaboration. So you guys, you know, maybe, and this is very earthy energy to me, you know, this card with all the brown here, brown colors here. So, um... You guys might be coming together and kind of strategizing on how we can further strengthen the bonds in this connection. What do we need to work on? What do we need to let go of? 
really like sitting down and going over your connection like in a um, like a practical way like like taking notes like pros and cons and what do we need to work on what do we need to let go of you know what's what's our what is our problems like really sitting down and like doing the work you know you're wanting to do the work I feel in this connection uh, you feel very strongly about that about trying to figure out what to do in this connection for some reason all right so let's see how your person is feeling towards you in this connection indecision so they're indecisive about you they don't know if they want to stay if they want to go uh, an eight here is about um, action and movement so they're at a crossroads here I feel they're indecisive if you are in a partnership now I think you want to work on it and see how you can work things out with them and you, you're very confident about that you feel very strongly about that and they could be a very strong-willed person also and they're very indecisive at a crossroads they don't know whether to go or stay hmm all right so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck patience so I feel like definitely here and we have seven which is a very divine spiritual number so I do feel like you both need to have patience with, with one another. You know, time, healing, um, and just have patience in this situation. Hmm. Okay. So let's see what's going on. You know, maybe your patience runs short, you know, a little bit with each other. All right. So let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus love connection first half of September oh I just saw the devil energy so I don't know we'll see so why does Taurus have strategy here please in this love connection first half of September All right this wanted to flip the seven of cups <laughs> wow okay let's get one for your person Let's get one for your person. Let's get one for your person. Why are they in this indecision? Energy, the chariot, yeah. Wow. Oh, so, and let's pull some clarifiers for you. So judgment on your side and the ace of swords on their side, wow. So you have the seven of cups and the last judgment here. So, you know, and this kind of clarifies strategy. You're looking at all the options here. You're looking at which ways can we work this out. Um, again, you know, can we bring back happiness, peace, and harmony into this? Are there secrets that we need to re reveal to one another to strengthen our bonds? Is there any negative, toxic, deceitful energy between the two of us we have to let go of? Do we have to have more patience and let go of this fiery um fiery uh, like communication between the two of you you know maybe somebody's emotional over emotional also so this is you know strategy looking at all the pros and cons looking at all the things wrong in this relationship or all the things that you that are strong all the things that are wrong all the things that need to be let go of all the things that need to be worked on here and this is you know Scorpio so this is a lot of water energy here we have Scorpio and water here so making a judgment call here, making a final decision. Uh, this is also forgiveness and resurrection. Um, also doing a review. This is, could be a relationship review, life review here on what to do. So, yeah. So you, you know, you, I feel really want to work on this. You've made that decision. But they're in indecisive energy and they're ready to either move on or they want this to move forward in a more because uh, you see the two swords here so and this does remind me of the two of swords even though this is the chariot and the ace of swords and then we have indecision here which reminds me of the two of swords and then we have the two swords here so they're indecisive do I want to take action and movement and 
you know, go in a whole new direction or, you know, there has to be more equal balance in this relationship. It has to move in a more positive direction or they're really thinking about taking up and leaving and going in a whole new direction. That's kind of the truth of the matter here. This is the Ace of Swords, so they've had a big epiphany moment here. They know um, with truth and clarity now that either things have to change in a more positive way or they're going to take a different path, which may mean going in a whole new direction and leaving. So, you know, the Ace of Swords here, truth, clarity, uh, communication, standing up for themselves, cutting away all the bullshit, uh, not taking any bullshit, and they're ready for a new beginning of some kind. Either a new start with you, it has to be better, or they want a new beginning on their own and taking that action off on their own here because you see them kind of moving away from you in this direction. So they're indecisive here. They don't know whether or not to go or stay, and I really do feel like Things have to go and get better for them to stay or they're going to go off on their own for their own new beginning. Wow. So let's see what the actual situation is now. So we have the High Priestess and we have the Knight of Pentacles. So we want one more. And the Four of Swords. Wow. So... Okay, so connecting to you is the High Priestess. So, I mean, the High Priestess is someone who's very, um, it's Cancer or Pisces. Again, a lot of water on your side. You could have a lot of water in your chart. Uh, but, uh, you know, the High Priestess, you know, so maybe you're just kind of off on your own, keeping to yourself, like doing your own, like strategizing in this connection, like trying to figure it out on your own. Because the High Priestess kind of, doesn't say anything. She's quiet. She keeps to herself. She knows a lot. She's intuitive. She's divinely connected. But she doesn't tell her secrets that she doesn't share. So this is a quiet energy of not sharing. So you could be like off on your own here, trying to make final decisions, um, strategizing how this could work out in the long run, but you're keeping it to yourself for some reason. I don't know why you would do that, but... And then over on their side... A lot of air energy, sword energy. So if they're not a fire sign, Aries, they definitely could be an air sign here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could have Aries in their chart. Aries is the emperor energy. So, you know, that emperor energy is about taking charge, taking control. So something needs to, like... Uh, like this connection has to, like... I don't know how to say it, uh, get back into control, like, uh, like it has to, I don't, I don't know, it feels like it's very out of whack <laughs> in some way, and it needs to be like aligned again for some reason, if that makes sense, but they have the four swords on their side, so they're really thinking about this, this is taking time alone, like you're not saying anything over here, and you're doing a review, how can we work it out, trying to work it out in your mind, you know, by yourself. And they're like over here on their own, not saying anything, healing, contemplating, thinking, what do they want to do? What's best for them? Do they want to move on or they want to stay? But only if it gets better. This is also about healing. Wow. And then between the two of you, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So, you know, this is your energy. So, um, you know, you could make a practical approach to this person. Say, hey, I've been thinking long and hard over here. This is how I think we can work this out. And this is you approaching them with your, um, all your ideas, all your um, thoughts about how you can work it out. Taking a very slow, practical approach here, you know, and wanting to work it out. And they'll think about it. They'll think about it. And you thought about it long and hard, and then now, you know, you didn't say anything for a long time, and now you're ready to, it's right in the middle of your spread, to come to them and say, hey, this is how I think we can work this out, and approaching them with all your strategizing things here. And they're going to think about it. They're going to think about it. So let's get some clarity. 
Well, there's a brand new beginning in love and the hermit. So the Ace of Cups is a brand new beginning in love, or it could be like starting over, starting fresh, sharing new love, emotions, feelings, like taking a whole new approach. This is divinely guided. So you, you definitely want like a restart, like a revamp in this love. And you're really thinking about how to do that. And then you're going to approach them and say, okay, this is what we should do. They're going to think about it here because now they have the Four of Swords and the Hermit. Wow. Virgo. So they're really, really going to think long and hard about this and say, do I truly think we can work this out? You know, is it worth it? Do I want to stay? Do I want to move on? They're really going to do that inner journey work here. To like this four is the minor of like the hermit here. So really going to do some deep introspection and inner soul journey work to figure out if they truly, truly want to work it out and stay or just go on their own. And they're going to see, they will see truth and clarity in this situation. They will. I don't know what will happen here. So let's see what's, uh, get more cards. We'll see where this may go to. All right. So let's get some advice for you, Taurus. Advice and guidance for you, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. And at any time, these energies can be interchangeable, flip-flopped around any way you see fit. If you feel like, Nope, that's them, and this is me at any time. Then you can switch them however you see. Okay, so what's the advice and guidance for Taurus Spirit, please? We have a few cards for Taurus is one. Okay, so now we have Justice. We have another one. We have another one for Taurus for advice and guidance. Okay, I was just told the Eight of Cups walk away, and here it is, the Eight of Cups. Wow. All right, so your advice here, here is you may be better off just to walk away here. I'm not telling anybody to end a relationship, but this is the energy here that... Uh, and you may, you know, have something new or better waiting for you in the future with this Ace of Cups, which is something that usually is brand new and they have something over here for them that is brand new but you know the eight of cups here is you know you could walk away from this situation and justice uh this, this could be divorce or this could be separation or this just could be balancing out the scales having you know truthful open honest communication and trying to bring balance to the situation you know, you may spend some time apart to really figure out here also what you truly want to do in this situation, whether you want to stay or walk, or walk away. What is your, what would be the best for you to bring yourself justice in this situation? Do you stay and walk away? Do you walk away for a period and come back? Spend some time apart to see if you can come back and work it out? I don't know. Let's get clarifiers on this. So we have the Six of Swords and we have the Fool. So this is Aquarius energy here. And then this is Air energy again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, I mean, it could go either way. Uh, this talks about leaving things behind, no longer serving you, learning all your lessons, going in a better direction, a more healing, calmful, peaceful place. And then the fool here uh, is a brand new start, leaving all the past baggage behind, what you don't need, only taking with you what you need, starting resetting over at zero, taking a whole new leap of faith, and jumping right in, in and trusting everything will be fine. So it could go either way. I mean, you could leave and walk away and be go, go into an even better place off on your own. And also... They could also, I mean, if you both decide to just walk away from this connection, I think you're both going to have more, you know, maybe better or more opportunities for you, both of you separately, 
or you could work it out and revamp the whole situation and take a whole new start, a whole new leap of faith, go in a more calm, peaceful direction, a more loving, truthful um, direction. All right, so let's see. Let's see, let's see. Whatever your situation is, whatever you feel is best for you. If you feel like leaving is the best thing for you, follow your heart. If you feel like working it out is best for you, follow your heart. So, all right, so let's get a possible outcome now for Taurus. Well, we have the world. So this does talk about ending cycles and starting new cycles, ending a chapter, starting a new chapter. Uh, and this is earth energy, so you know that's your energy. So you could close out. This is about completion, so closure. So you could close this, out, close out this cycle, start a whole new cycle for yourself, or you know try to have a brand new beginning, like a whole new revamp, whole new world with this person. But I'm getting a lot of uh, you know closure, endings, new beginnings. The world, new beginning with the fool, new beginning with the sword, new beginning with the ace of cups. Justice can speak of legal matters, uh, divorce or um, separation. I don't, I don't know. So let's get more clarity here with the world. The five of rods. Okay. And the ten. Wow. <laughs> Fire energy now. So I feel like there's a lot of conflict arguments bickering between the two of you and it's like you know as much as you may want to try to work it out it may cause conflict and uh then realizing you know what there's a lot of burden here and this is like actually on their side ten ten of rods tens are endings completions as we have the world completion ten here is ending and then you have one the new beginning and this is laying down the burdens, uh, just too burdensome here. So they may feel like this connection is just too burdensome for them. And they must may decide here just to lay down all these wands, leave them behind, have a new start, new leap of faith after they thought about it long and hard, having their new beginning here with truth and clarity. And you may move on into a better place and find a whole new love that's better suited for you. I just feel like here, you know, you have a lot of inner conflict. There's just a lot of uh, conflict, I feel, between the two of you also. Oh, Taurus. I mean, I hate to deliver bad news, but I'm telling you exactly what the cards say, and I'm not going to fluff it up and say, oh, no, this is just a whole new beginning with your love. I mean, it could go that way, or um, this could be just the ending of this connection, and you're both going off on your own and having better lives individually. Yeah, the next card is death. Wow. So, I mean, with the death in the world here, this is the ending of a situation here with Scorpio. Ending, completion, and then death comes a new beginning. The world, ending, closure, new beginning. Wow. Wow. So... See what's on the bottom of the deck. The King of Pentacles. So that, that's your energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So, no, knowing your value, your worth. I mean, seeing clearly things here for what they truly are. Temperance. So, again, with the balance, balancing energy here. Um, having that patience. This is the same card here with patience. So having the patience, you know, trying not to lose your temper and having more arguments here in this situation, having, you know, peace, harmony, and balance, um, energy here, patience, 10 of cups and the nine of swords. Yeah. I mean, this could have been, you know, a loving connection at one time in the beginning here. But now there's just a lot of stress, anxiety, worry, fear, uh, nervous energy over this um, connection here. 
Seven of Wands, you know, rods here, being defensive towards one another, being on guard and defensive with one another, you know, and having stress, anxiety about what's going to happen with this uh, connection, needing peace, harmony, and balance, knowing your worth, doing what's best for you, seeing, you know, things for what they are. So, I don't know, uh, Taurus, it's up to you. Follow your heart. If you feel like it's best to end this, then you do what's best for you. If you feel like you really want to try to work this out, you, you can also do that also. So this card wanted to fall out, so we got sensitivity. So, you know, this could be a very sensitive time right now between the two of you. 15-6 is about peace and harmony and balance. So some sort of peace, harmony, and balance needs to be brought into this situation. Um, very sensitive, sensitive time, I feel, right now. All right, so what else do we have? Right, what else do we have for Taurus? What else do we have for Taurus? First half of September. Enlightenment. Wow. And I can't make this up, but if you look at you here with the King of Pentacles energy of being, you know, being enlightened, I had just said that about, you know, seeing the light, seeing things for what they are. And now here's the enlightenment, like realizing I need to take this for what it really is and do what's best for me in this connection. Seven here, divinely guided, spiritual number here. So big enlightenment here energy for you like really knowing I need to do what's best for me all right so what else do we have for Taurus what else do we have for Taurus first half of September is there anything else for Taurus anything else for Taurus please thank you so much Okay, I think that might be it. Let me try one more time. Oh, okay. I felt like there was one more. <laughs> so we have remembrance, you know, 11, which is two, which is, you know, two people coming together. So, may, so you may be remembering the good times, what it was like when you were first together uh, with, in this connection um, here with remembrance, remembering the good times, the bad times, remembering how things once were. Maybe that's why it's a very sensitive time right now. But we have authentic truth here. Four. So that is the foundation, the stability uh, of the situation. And taking this, uh, seeing the authentic truth in this whole dynamic, this whole situation, and doing what's best for you. You know, and you may be fooling yourself here, thinking that, you know, nothing has gone wrong, that nothing's wrong. Things are fine when they're really not. <laughs> so, yeah, this is nothing go has gone wrong. It's kind of an energy of telling yourself nothing's wrong, that things are fine, things are balanced. You know, everything's uh, peaceful and harmonious when, when it's really not. And needing to really see the authentic truth here in this situation. All right, Taurus, so I guess just follow your heart, do what's best for you. If you think it can be worked out, then, you know, you do that. If you feel like the best option is to walk away, um, I'm not telling anybody what to do. Just follow your heart and do what's best for you in this connection, Taurus. Okay, Taurus, if this didn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below for past readings. Maybe something down there will um, resonate for you more. I do consider them all timeless, even though they do have dates on them. I would say disregard the dates. If you see a title that uh, clicks with you, I'd say watch it. You may find something in there for you. So uh, if you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and loves for all the signs, so don't miss out on that. And best of luck to you here in your situation. I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say, 
with my channel is to always, always shine your light.